Winnie's Flying Carpet by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. Winnie the witch was busy writing letters. They were thank you letters for her birthday presents. Now there was only one left, the trickiest letter, Winnie's sisters. Wilma, Wanda and Wendy had given her a flying carpet. Winnie had always wanted a flying carpet, but this flying carpet had been a disappointment. Actually, it had been a disaster. There was the time it got tangled in Winnie's washing, and the day it tipped over as they were passing a duck pond, and then one day it turned a corner too quickly. After that, Winnie rolled up the carpet, tied it with string, put it in the bedroom cupboard and locked the door. But Winnie wanted to write something nice about the carpet in a thank you letter. She unlocked the cupboard, untied the carpet and spread it on the armchair. It is a beautiful carpet, she thought. It seems a pity not to use it. So Winnie decided to give it one more chance. Just then, the doorbell rang. Winnie hurried off to answer it. Just as Wilbur came inside after a busy morning climbing trees and chasing butterflies, he was ready for a sleep. The sun was shining on the flying carpet. It looked so warm and comfortable. Wilbur jumped up and in one minute he was snoring. The flying carpet waited one more minute, then it rose gently into the air. Wilbur didn't wake up. It flew gently around the room. Wilbur didn't wake up. Then it zoomed out of the window. Wilbur woke up. He cried. Winnie heard him. She looked up just in time to see the flying carpet zoom up into the sky. Oh no, cried Winnie. She grabbed her magic wand and her broomstick and zoomed up into the sky after them. Winnie flew as fast as her broomstick could go, but the carpet was faster. It swooped over the clock tower and under a bridge. Winnie followed it. Hang on tight, Wilbur, she called. <coughs> cried Wilbur. Then the carpet flew over a fun fair. What fun. First it whizzed down the roller coaster rocket. Winnie whizzed down behind it. Then the terrible twister. The flying carpet was having a wonderful time. Wilbur was having a horrible time. Winnie was worried she would never catch them. Then she had an idea. She waved her magic wand shouted abracadabra and everything stopped nothing whizzed or zoomed or shrieked or splashed all was still including the flying carpet wilbur jumped onto winnie's shoulders he said then winnie rolled up the flying carpet let's go home wilbur she said by broomstick winnie waved her magic wand backwards abracadabra she shouted, and everything started again. Wee zoom whizz vroom. Winnie and Wilbur landed in Winnie's garden. Winnie frowned at the flying carpet. What would she do with it? Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. She shut her eyes, waved her wand, shouted, Abracadabra! And there, tied to two trees, was a beautiful hammock. Winnie and Wilbur climbed in, they were both very tired. The hammock rocked gently in the breeze. This is so comfortable, Wilbur, said Winnie. But Wilbur didn't hear her. He was already fast asleep.